with Albion Online, we're trying to create a game that hasn't been made in a very long time. Albion Online is a reminiscence of the old MMORPGs, like Ultima Online. We're trying to go back to that time and modernize the themes and ideas of that time, the player freedom that was so important to these games, and bring it accessible to the modern generation. With Albion, we want to get back to that, that old school feel where the game isn't telling you what to do, the game is presenting a world and it's saying to you, figure out for yourself what you want out of it. You can be a fighter, you can be a farmer, you can be a craftsman, you can be a, a diplomat, you can really tell your own story in that world. So the player-driven economy is one of the core pillars of Albion Online. Um, there are a range of marketplaces throughout the world. The cities each have a market and it's a local market. What you buy and sell at each city is what people have listed there which means that there can be price differences between different cities. Imagine, for instance, that there's a local conflict going on somewhere. So you could probably make a profit by selling weapons to both sides. So you would have to transport the weapons into the conflict area. Maybe you need to hire protection to, to make your transport go through. But in the end, a big profit can be made. The economy is kind of the way that that links everything together. You can just be someone on your own, you know, mining some iron and making some swords, and you put it on the market to make a profit. And someone else buys those swords and uses it in their guild versus guild fight, and they use it to take a territory. And now the iron that you mined has had a direct impact on the territory they claimed. Uh, crafting is a big part of Albion Online because everything in the game is made by players. Um, there's basically nothing you can get hold of that wasn't player made or player collected. You can make weapons, you can make armor, you can train mounts, you can use it to, to farm, to grow crops, to grow animals. Um, all these things are created purely through player action with resources purely harvested by players. So you as a player are going to want to start specializing. Like, do I want to be the best armorer like, in the area or even the best like helmet crafter, I make the best plate mail helmets that you can buy. Like that's what I do. Or I make really, really good, like strong double-handed swords. That's my specialization. And everyone on the server knows that. Everyone knows that if you really, really want that really good sword, that's the guy to go talk to. So in other MMOs, you're forced to enter the game and pick from a list of predefined classes with no basic information on what you're going to be doing with them. We didn't want this to be the case with Albion Online. So we have this saying with Albion, which is, you are what you wear, which means that what you can do at any given time is basically determined by what equipment you have on you. You can really be anything you want at any time. If you put on a sword and an armor, you become a warrior. If you put on a staff and a robe, you become a mage. As you start developing your character in Albion, uh, you'll come pretty quickly across the destiny board, which is kind of your hub for, uh, for progressing your character and seeing what options there are available. In the destiny board, you see what you've unlocked. You'll actually see the different weapons, you'll see the different armors. You will also see all the crafting recipes, so you can easily spot what you've unlocked, what you're about to unlock, and what's ahead of you. And once you get into it, you, you can kind of see exactly what you need to do to advance in different levels, advance in different areas, and specialize your character. Guilds are a very important aspect of Albion Online. These player-run societies will have a big impact on the world. Guilds can conquer territories, and in these territories they can build autonomous bases. They can build uh, their own little cities where they uh, operate and start to build an empire. You're actually fighting over territories, you're fighting over land, you're fighting over resources, and it's incredibly exciting. You can play Albion Online on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android and iOS tablets, which is um, a completely new level of freedom and accessibility for the MMO genre. All the players on all the different devices can play together in the same game world. We do this because we want the game to be available anywhere. You can play on your Windows computer at home, on your Mac at work, you can play on your Android or iOS pad on the train to work. And having those different options allows you to interact with the game when you want to on your own terms.